Proceed. I call the member for Sydney. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, I just want to take a moment today to talk directly to same-sex attracted young people, to gay and lesbian teenagers, about the decision that the Liberal and National Party made last for night. For marriage equality is not over. The fight for marriage equality will continue, not just in this parliament, but beyond this parliament in the broader community, because we know that there are many Australians. Um, gay, straight, whatever, who don't support discrimination against any group ABC. in our community. Hello. 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 The member for Melbourne. The member for Melbourne. Uh, today, the Prime Minister had two opportunities to take our country towards a more sustainable and a more equal future. The member for Melbourne. But instead of using his position as Prime Minister to move us towards a more sustainable and equal future, our Prime Minister has today taken this country backwards. And today, the Prime Minister has thankfully signed the death warrant on this government because within a year they will be out of office because Australians want a sustainable future and equality for themselves and their children and everyone the Prime Minister who lives with them has sided with a vocal homophobic minority over the loving majority in Australia. The Prime Minister has chosen fear over love. The Prime Minister has said to the young boy in the country town who is struggling to come to grips with who he's attracted to, your love is not as equal as everyone else's. The Prime Minister has said to the girl at high school who wants to take her girlfriend to the formal, that we do not consider your love to be as equal as everyone and else. And never again will I want to hear from this Prime Minister that this is the party of freedom And he will choice. be remembered for this for decades and decades to come. And as I've said, Mr Speaker, this is the beginning of the end. 